Welcome back to the Daily Minute. When we pick up a $10 item at a store, we expect to pay that amount to make it ours. The store placed the value on it, and I must pay that price or leave it. The cost of our salvation is in Romans 5.10, and we must agree to the charges. For if we, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we should be saved by his life. People who say they have no sin, or those who deny their sin, that it is bad enough to send them to hell, don't understand their predicament. God says that every one of us needed the death of his son to reconcile us to God. Those who say that isn't true, or at least isn't true for them, are calling God a liar. Everyone going to heaven has agreed with God about our situation and trusted in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Let's pray. I want to thank you for this great day that you've given to us and all you've done for us today. We want to thank you for sending your son to die for us. Because, Father, we did need your son's death on the cross to pay for our sins. We thank you and we trust you. That's in Jesus' name. Amen. I hear about things that God's been teaching you through his word. Let us know what he's been doing in your life by writing in the comment section below. If you need prayer, please feel free to email me at shinethelightforhim at mail.com. Thank you for spending time with us. Make sure to join us tomorrow as we read Proverbs 16 during our weekly scripture reading. Then again on Monday, as we look at the difference between payment for our sin and qualification for heaven. May the Lord bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.